The COVID-19 pandemic has revealed the devastation that infectious illness can cause and the importance of having a well-functioning immune system. An inadequate immune response is now perceived as a major public health liability in settings where this was, at best, previously not well recognized or, at worst, simply accepted. Our immune system is an advanced security system. Immune cells surveil our bodies 24-7 and spring to action when they detect a pathogen. Fueling this activity requires energy sources, substrates for biosynthesis, and regulatory molecules, all of which are ultimately derived from the diet. Preparing for this metabolic surge, then, means maintaining a balanced diet rich in nutrients. The roles of vitamins A, C, and D, and of zinc, copper, and iron are well explored. But B vitamins, vitamins E and K, selenium, magnesium, and others also play an important part. Scientists have long known that nutrition is intricately linked to immunity and to the risk and severity of infection. However, surveys have shown that many people consume diets that do not meet national guidelines, often because of availability or cost. Leading a lifestyle scarce in basic raw materials can weaken our immune system and make us vulnerable to infection. Older individuals, especially those who are frail, are a high-risk group. Immune response generally declines with increasing age as the number and quality of immune cells decreases. This is known as immunosenescence. The high prevalence of nutrient deficiency in this group only makes matters worse, causing greater risk of poorer outcomes if older individuals develop chronic or acute diseases. In fact, the mortality rate among the aged during the COVID-19 pandemic has been notably high, and they're not the only ones. Others at high risk include those with pre-existing conditions such as diabetes, obesity, chronic lung diseases, cardiovascular disease, and various other diseases that render the patient immunocompromised. One feature that unifies these at-risk individuals is an elevation in systemic inflammation. High inflammation leads to a greater viral load and sets the stage for a cytokine storm, a potentially fatal process in which the body turns the fight towards its own cells and tissues. Maintaining a healthy gut microbiome is also key in supporting the immune system. Gut microbiota vary greatly among individuals, reflecting differences in environmental factors such as diet and in traits like age and ethnicity. In a healthy body, pathogenic and symbiotic microbiota coexist without problems, but any disturbance in that balance can make the body more susceptible to infection. The key to a healthy immune system doesn't lie in any one food or nutrient. Instead, it's the balance of essential vitamins and minerals that helps prime our bodies to fight infection and disease. Where adequate dietary sources of these nutrients aren't available, supplementation may be required to boost immune functionality. As the search for a COVID-19 cure continues, it's important to rely on all potential therapeutics, mitigation interventions, and prevention strategies that may reduce the incidence or severity of infection.